Uhu. Huh? Ah! Hey guys, this is Jim and welcome to episode... Oh wait, I think I forgot to do the wave at the end of the last episode, so we'll do it at the start of this one. Hello! <laughs> episode 60... Seven, seven of Oswald's our modern, 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 modern Minecraft series. I hope you're well, guys. It's it's a bit dark in here. Hmm. Maybe. How about we grab our our night vision? Uh, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's, that was a bit scary, wasn't it? Seeing him come up behind us there. Woo -wee. Um, yes, night vision. Does this help in the nether? A little bit. Kinda. That red is very red, isn't it? Uh, this. So I was just in the nether here doing a bit of mining for various bits and pieces. Uh, and I spotted that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I gather this is a nether X thing. I don't know if there's anything in it. We're about to find out. Uh, also, there was another biome that we hadn't seen here in the nether. This icy one there. Ah! Oh! Okay. 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 Oh, wait. Oops. Uh, not panicking at all. Oh, I think it's a baby. Oh, are they, are they little baby girls or something? Oh, dear. Should I get a bit too close to that thing that's doing, like, spawning things? <laughs> Uh, right, right. Hop down. What is that? Hey, haven't seen one of him before. He looks like the troll thingy, but a dude one in the nether. Who are you? What are you? Uh, you're a thing. Oh, we're about to die. Let's, uh, jump up a bit and eat and put the armor on that I took off for the intro there. Um, eat. What is that guy? He looks like the, yeah, the trolley thingy that's in the overworld, doesn't he? So I gather it's the same mobs. I think that's primitive mobs, though. Not uh, he's gone. Not uh, Nether X. Ooh, and there's this ore here, this Nether rhyme that's that under the ice there. Uh, yes, ice biome thing here from Nether X. Uh, so is this like a boss thing or something? Uh, yeah. Now I'm also wearing a backpack. If I take off my jetpack there. Backpack! <laughs> uh, yes, we've had a backpacks, improved backpacks is the mod. Uh, and I've got a shortcut to open it up there, the stuff there, and we can upgrade it and give it more slots as well. Uh, okay, yeah, so some goodies. How about we just chuck some more of that in there? Okay, uh, let's go have a closer look. Now, are we good? I uh, hadn't intended to fight a boss or anything, but I, I gather there's going to be at least a spawner or something in here for the ghasts. They look like little baby ghasts or something. Let's go have a look. I wonder if there's any goodies in here, or if it's just, uh... Oh, there's a room. There is... Lots of spawners! Woohoo! Diamonds, diamonds, obsidian, stuff, this guy... Uh, oh, ghast here I'll take. But, uh... Mob spawners... Oh, my thing's in the way. Monster spawner. So, a ghast... Yeah, they're ghast spawners. So they might have just spawned some of the baby ghast from the, uh, the baby... Baby, uh baby animals mod. What's this one? Something of sorrow. How about we leave it and we better find out what it does, but um, alright, good to know there's gas spawners here for... Oop, hole, there we are, oop! Woohoo! <laughs> um, I think they are little gas, aren't they? They don't go out... Oh, he's definitely a little one, that guy over there. The one he's zipping around. Hey, there's another one of these guys. Oh, and another one. <laughs> Madness, craziness. All right, this isn't hadn't been what I was planning for this episode, but uh, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Hey, okay. <laughs> and him. Yes. Uh, all right, we'll head back to the overworld and get on with uh, with the normal things. I think. Okay, okay. Back at the base. Uh, now, I still haven't moved the uh, magnetic craft back inside. Uh, we'll get to that in due course. Now, we need to make the Teletoro portal. Uh, what a mess. Look at this, all overgrown. <laughs> get rid of all those. Yes, yeah, so I think I mentioned in the last episode that the uh, 
terraqueous stuff the the flowers were spreading but I've stopped that uh, I'd also had it so that the grass would grow into two, into two tall grass as well which is very interesting but um, yes yeah, so I disabled that as well just to try and keep an eye on the server and uh, well the server the the game hopefully that's not using too many ticks and things now where are we going to put this teletoro portal here here right here there we go so it's built just like a nether portal uh, but with the, the ender pearls here to make the Teletoro blocks, like, not quite like that. <laughs> that, oh, we'll get there at the end. We just need 10. So basically the same shape as a nether portal. Uh, but this is the minimum number we'll need, isn't it? The 10. So, one. I can't remember what it is we need to light it. I think it's a flint and steel, but we'll... We'll find out. Uh, then dirt. I've got a jetpack. We could do this. <laughs> there and there. Okay. Into the Teletoro. Yes. Yes. Flint and steel. Click. It is. Good. That did work. All right. Deep breath. Here we go. Into. Oh. That was instantaneous. It's dark. Ah, oh, we fell. We fell. <laughs> Hang on, we've got our night vision. Where's our little night vision thing? Turn that back on. Ah, there we are. Okay. So, this... Hmm, boy, this is the Teletoro. Yeah, there's not a lot here, is there? Is it still generating? Oh. Why is the night vision flashing? We've still got plenty of charge. Oh, what are you doing, night vision? Hmm, interesting. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. So, let's head over to the little, little islands. Basically, oh dear, it's doing it again. Oh, uh, alright. Uh, that's going to get annoying. Oh. Oh, waiting for... Uh-oh. Uh that's not good. <laughs> hmm, okay. Well, Teletoro crashing. <laughs> Uh, basically it was just hanging whenever we go in, hence we were seeing the waiting for server uh, in the one probe up on the top left there. That's a good sign that the server's not responding for some reason, the internal server. Uh, yes, so crashing, crashing, we got, do we get them all back? We got most of them back, that's not bad. Uh, yes, unless there's some up there? No, okay, so we got most of those ender pearls back. Uh, yes, Teletoro crashing, Hey, rat! Hey, hey, do that. <laughs> um, yes, okay, so basically the Teletoro, the idea is it's like the Nether in that you can move a small distance in the Teletoro and then travel a large distance in the overworld. There's not much to it beyond that. That's its really its main uh, purpose. So, yeah, so we're missing out on that because it's crashing for some reason. Um, okay, how about then... Hmm, how about we do some other bits and pieces then? I've got a few things we need to, to try. Okay, first thing, these torches, ugly. <laughs> they are just wrecking the base, aren't they? So, lighting. Now, I was looking last episode at, well, I think I mentioned we might try and add uh, Ender IO. Now, I did try and do that, but, um, uh, there is it, that one. Uh, yes, but alas, that, uh, hmm. <laughs> ah, there we go. Um, I had to try and upgrade, like, Forge, and then upgrade some other mods, and just, things just kept crashing. So, in the end, I decided not to do that. So, we're going to try these Alexandrite lamps from Silence Gems. So, we can just use a, 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 one of the gems. I think there's ones for all of the gems, but the Alexandrite one, if it's inverted there, it looks like it's a sort of whitish with a grey background. So let's grab a bunch of those. So by itself, it's just like that, and then we get a couple of uh, levers. So the inverted one, redstone torches. Yeah, okay, so lighting this up. Beep. Aha, okay. So having this in the floor there, they may lock all right, mightn't they? So... Uh, now, how much light do they emit? So the other thing, I've added in this LL overlay, or light level overlay, to show us the light level. It's sort of, well, the frame rate gets affected by having it on, but it would be uh, interesting to see if we just break a few of these things and get some dark spots. 
there we go, like that. So if we maybe put this, and then put that there, and then give it a torch. No, not the torch. There. <laughs> there. And then, oh, well, there. Okay, well, it's full light level, I think, is what it comes down to. Yeah, okay. So the inverted one, I guess, is they stay on without us needing a torch or a lever or something like that. Good. We just put him right here and put him there. Yeah. Ooh, where's those particles come from? Don't know. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's busting our wall. Get out of here, you. Oh, 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 man. Oh, there's another one. Is there another one? There is. Ah, <laughs> oh, these things wrecking our base. Jeez. Huh. I think that's a little baby Enderman, isn't it? <laughs> Bye, baby Enderman. Right, that's a bit nicer. <laughs> Certainly better than the torches, isn't it? Uh, there's still a few around because I've run out of the uh, Alexandrite gems. Uh, so hence those few still there. Now we will put some other lightings on the walls anyway. I think we'll use some mechanism ones that we'll get to eventually. But uh, for now that makes the floor look a lot better, doesn't it? We also used some of these uh, onyx ones over here in this little area. Seeing it had a different floor colour there. So they're sort of pretty pretty unassuming little, little lights, aren't they? They look good, though. Nice and, uh, well, certainly better than the torches. <laughs> uh, okay, next up, we'll have a look at these. Now, I, I found one of these in the nether, the nether smoker. Eee, imagine that at the top of our two chimneys. Now, I've only got one, but I'm, I'm thinking something. Thinking, thinking. I don't. There's no crafting recipe for it. Uh, but one of the things we did get from Quark is Wither Ash. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, this is just a guess, it may not work. Can we turn that into a smoking one with that? Oh no, oh. Oh, it does that. Huh, is that like redstone? Uh, or is it something else? I haven't looked it up. Well, there, there must be some way, maybe, to make them? I don't know. Otherwise, we'll just have to scour uh, the nether. But, oh, interesting. Can, I'm wondering, can we? Can we? Can we turn it on? What, what does it do? Uh, we're about to find out. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> hmm, I wonder what it does. Interesting. Uh, but anyway, uh, these on our chimneys would be good. Okay, uh, yeah, we can't craft them. You can only find them near lava lakes in the nether. Mm, I just had a quick look. Oh, shift, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and the wither dust. Ooh, dear. <laughs> uh, the wither dust. Oh, something. Oh, something's shooting us. Uh, yeah, is uh, just to stop mobs spawning, basically. It doesn't actually function as anything else. Just, just uh, stopping the mobs spawning. Uh, right, we're here in the hunting dimension. Which shooting us. You? No. Uh, ew, you. Skelly? Skelly. Uh, we're going to try and convert some of the biomes now. We, we've we got last episode a... Uh, boy. There you got him, finally. <laughs> um, the uh, the end on the creeping moss. I've also got the Darklands Highlands. This is the one where the uh, in Abyssal Craft we need the, the Shadow Beast to spawn so we can get the Shadow stuff uh, for going, doing, con well, continuing with the Abyssal Craft stuff that we kind of put on hold because we couldn't find it. Boy, look at all these guys. <laughs> well, it is the hunting dimension, isn't it? Certainly lots of things to be hunting. <laughs> ah, dearie me. Okay. Oh, our jetpack's running a bit low there too, isn't it? Uh, all right. Now, let's see. Chunk boundaries and, hmm. Uh, yeah, okay, F3G shows the chunk borders, so it's chunk about here, so using this should change this whole chunk, so uh, before we do that, we might just get our little uh, end of the meat creep dudes. Oh, I'm Mr. Meat Creeps, look at me! Can you flatten an area 13 by 13, oh, that'll get most of the chunk. Uh, the theory is here, 
so that there's sort of a bit of a wall then around us. So if the shadow beasts do spawn, they'll stay in that area. Uh, so we'll probably want one there and then one for the end as well. Okay, there we go. Nice little spot there. So let's see if we can turn... Whoop, boing, boing, boing. Uh, to turn this into the end. Do we just click it? I think it's it shift click or click. The biome has been set to Minecraft Ocean. Uh, huh. We had it was definitely the end. All right, we'll try over this one then. Uh, click Ocean. Oh, that's that's no good. <laughs> That's not what we wanted at all. Well, that's a fail, isn't it? There's a couple of fails so far this episode. Um, huh. Alright, uh, well. Oh no, maybe it's just the message that's wrong. I'm looking at our little mini-map, and down the... Hi there, spider. Uh, bottom... Oop. Bottom, uh, yeah, bottom there. It says bottom right. That's it, isn't it? Left and right. It says Darklands Highland. Okay. Okay, and then over here, what does it say? It says, the end. Okay, so maybe it did change it. Oh, alright, so how about we stand over here for a bit. In fact, uh, our thing's nearly out of energy. We'll go charge this up. We'll come back and see if there's any, um, wow, there's a lot of bats <laughs> spawn there. Um, hey. We'll see if there's any of the end, uh, the Darklands, Highlands dudes spawn over there. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. So we left the area, and when we've come back, the grass is now the colour of the Darklands, Highlands biome. Aha. Uh -huh. I was wondering about that. When we t converted it, it didn't seem to be the same, the right colour, basically, for the biome. Uh, but it is now. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, still no shadow beasts, so whether they actually spawn or not, uh, we'll just have to see. So I might just uh, maybe hang around here for a bit. Ah, well, not one of the shadow beasts. Uh, whoa, whoa. there we go. But, uh, Mr. Wilson there, is it Mr. Wilson or Pete or Ghoul, the Depths Ghoul? That guy there, he's definitely spawns in this area. Okay, so we might end up getting Shadow Beasts spawning. Uh, it's a good sign, though, anyway. Right, I didn't end up seeing any Shadow Beasts. I didn't stay too long, I guess. But there were definitely uh, the uh, blah, 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 Abyssal Craft mobs spawning. Uh, now, this isn't my grave. This, this is Jim for Minecraft's grave. Um... Yes, our little cameraman from last last episode and the episode before. Yeah, uh, he died at some point because when he joined the world, he was in creative mode, but the game put him automatically into um, uh, survival. And he was up in the air, so he went, you splat and died, and I left the grave there. And uh, now we can't get rid of it. <laughs> Should we leave it permanently? No, we'll get rid of it eventually, I think. Ah uh, dear. Okay, fish. Fishies, guys. Why, why not? We're doing lots of bits and pieces this episode. Let's look at fish. Just a few fish. Now, this is a mod that adds the fish as actual mobs in the world, uh, which 113 has just done in vanilla Minecraft, but this is 112. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to try and catch some. So there's a fish tank. 16 blocks of... That's pretty cheap, isn't it? So is this like a, a multi-block thing. Ah, oh, we can have a giant fish tank. <laughs> and then we can go catch some fish. Okay, there we go. And there we are. Okay, it empties the water. Okay. Right. Oh, you can farm them. Aha. <laughs> uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. So does they, do they... Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, like that. Oh, uh, oh can I not shift? Uh, can I... Ah, right. We might have to try and just get the, oop, there, like that. Okay, well I assume that's one big tank. Here we are, good. Uh, so this is just an experiment first. So now we need to catch some fish. So it's got bucket with cod, bucket with clownfish. Hmm, is this the same as what they've done? Bucket with puffer fish. 
So what came first, this mod or the, the feature in 113 where you can pick up, there's a puffer fish, I think, in a bucket, isn't it? Uh, Alright, well, let's go find some fish. Now, there is a river just there, and there's squid, or there might be some over in this little pond. These white ones might be. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's duck out this way, so we can just, we'll just have to break through. I haven't given us a back door yet. Um, we well, haven't really given us a front door either, but... <laughs> uh, were they in here? There is! Okay, uh, let's get some water. So, hello, little fishy. Oh yes, can I get you? Yes. Oop. There we go. Bucket with cod. Okay. Uh, by the way, guys, I reckon these fish models are better than the ones they've added in vanilla. I've had seen the ones in vanilla, and they look pretty square and blocky. These are very cool. They look really nice. So, yeah, I reckon these ones win. Uh, okay, let's go put this guy in and see... Oh, hello. Sorry. Run into the fish. <laughs> <laughs> See what they, how they look? Uh, hmm. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, oh, I've got to go all the way around. Uh, jetpack. Jetpack. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, okay. Oh! Oops! <laughs> wrong button. <laughs> wrong slot. Oop, there we go. Right button, wrong slot. That was it, wasn't it? Oop, there we go. Glass is the one we want. Okay. Uh, alright, so can we just click this in here then? Like so? We can, and we have some little fishies. Now, the advancement seemed to say that we could breed them. Uh, so, maybe we need some more. Okay, and the advancement's here. Cutting edge fishing. Craft an iron fish hook. It seems to be the only one I can find for the fish. Uh, yeah. Because that fish hook there is actually added by just a few fish. So let's make one of those. So there we get the advancement. Yep, yeah, okay. Good. Uh, does that open anything? No. Oh, so maybe it's somewhere else? Hmm. Well, can't find it. So can I just say this interface is terrible, by the way. It's so small. We can't zoom in. We can't resize it. <laughs> That's awful. Oh well, uh, okay, fishy. Fishy. Uh, yep, there we are. We've got two fish. So, how do you normally breed fish? How do, what do you feed fish? Uh, fish food. But I don't know if there's any fish food added by the mod, is there? There's fishing rods, fish bones. No. Uh, oh well, we'll just keep an eye on them, I guess, and see if they breed over time. Oh, I think I saw something. I was thought, ah, oh, seeds, maybe seeds. Uh, Q. Oop, oh, we saw a heart and another Q. Are you, are you... Oop, oh, little baby fish! There's a little fish! <laughs> Where is it? Where's the little fishy? Where is he? Little fishy? Where are you? Oh, there he is! <laughs> Hiding with mumfish, I think. There he is. Tiny little fish. Ah, very funny. Very cute. Doors. Doors. How about we put in a door uh, rather than the dirt? <laughs> so we've got Melissa's Melissa's doors, uh, which adds a whole bunch of different kinds of doors. It also adds a door factory as well, so we can we can design some doors. Uh, all right. How about we make the factory and have a look, see if there's anything cool. Garage door. Hmm. Mm. And door factory. Okay, well our building stuff is kind of over here, so how about we put it there? Okay. Okay, movement. Double sliding, spinning. Oh boy, okay. Opening time, auto close delay, double door, player detection, redstone behavior. Okay, sound type. Oh, wow, this is very custom. Materials. Uh, modify, oh, modify maybe an existing door. Digicode, oh, you can put a code on there. Ah, okay, uh, right, how about we, hmm, I'll come up with a design and we'll try it out. Okay, rotating four-way, open six, ooh, opening time six, whatever. 
Oh, auto close, delay 5, make it a double door, player detect, yes, pneumatic door sound, there's the materials, we'll see how these look, and we won't bother with a digicode, seeing as it's just a single player, it, uh, that would get annoying, wouldn't it? Okay, create, okay, aha, uh -huh. radio, uh, oh! Ooh, it's pretty small, isn't it? We might need to make a second one. Yeah, hang on. So, will they make a double door if they're next to each other? Whoa. <laughs> Aha! Right, okay, well that... That's pretty cool. But I don't think it's going to quite work in that space over there, is it? We need something big there. Uh, this might be a good little back door somewhere around here, maybe. Hmm, we'll look into that, maybe work it in somehow. Can I break it? How do I break it? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, it's got progress, it's just going very slowly. Ah, uh, okay, it's just very hard, I see. So, garage door. Now, I might be thinking more of uh, the old carpenter's garage door, but we'll make well, we'll make a couple, and see if they're the same as the old as, as those old carpenter's ones, or whether they're just uh, uh, garage doors, or you know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> garage doors of some sort. Yes. Uh, put it here, I guess. So, what if we put it like there? Oops. Oh, maybe it is a uh, like a multi multi block door. Maybe is it? So if we put that and that, can we click or? Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So you can join them up in a line like that, and then put a redstone signal, and it rolls up and down like that. Okay, that's not bad. Um, we could probably put some next to each other, whether they, they'd need the same, an, another redstone signal or not. We could probably work the redstone. But, uh, yeah, the style-wise, maybe still not quite suits here. Hmm. Okay, so I've made three of these doors and I've modified them. Ah. Oh, like that. Uh, where'd the third one go? Is that inventory playing funny... Funniness. <laughs> uh, where did it go? I had three. Uh, hello? Anything? Where'd it go? Hmm. Ah, uh, there it is. I just had to sort of highlight every slot to get it to appear. So we could then have those and potentially have them on top of an, one another as well. Can we put them put maybe one on top of it, then make a huge sort of door that uh, kind of disappears or things. That that noise is quite interesting, isn't it? <laughs> so can we put a door whoop, on top of it? <gasps> can we? No, it doesn't look like we can put them on top of each other, alas, but... Okay, mm, maybe not vanishing. Okay, modify this guy, change it to uh, sliding, sliding up, sliding up, there we go, modify a door like so, and then we can just put the other ones in here like that, and then modify him as well, and him, we might actually even be just be able to do that, okay. Sliding up, sliding up, sliding up. And... Oops. Oh, that's, inventory's going funny again. There, there we are. Okay. Right. Cool. The player detection range not, is not brilliant, isn't it? Uh, is, 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 isn't it? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Uh, right. Hmm, how about... Uh, player sensor. I bet we make one of those. 
And we'll also try out an Ender Watcher as well, if this is what I think it is. <laughs> uh, grab some redstone. Okay, so if we put a little line there and then this, put that there. Is this the one where you, if you look at it, it yeah, it gives out a redstone signal. Now, didn't that used to be in Britannia? Hmm. Okay, it's in Quark now. Uh, the other one here is this player sensor. So is this a redstone signal as well, this guy? Let's see if we put him, say, uh, not there, there and there, okay. Uh, maybe it emits a redstone signal at another side or something. Uh, okay, so I just pop that light from there. Now that is redstone controlled, so if we get close, it turns it off. So it puts redstone sort of down underneath it, I think, by the looks of it. Okay, so there's some options. Okay, okay. Now, so, if we put this, this, and this, okay. Now we need to give him a redstone signal from that guy. So, redstone wire connector, immersive engineering, redstone wire coil. Okay, so, can we put this there? Uh, you know what, we might even bring it across to say there, then down to here, and to here. Now will this power, this block, and indirectly power those? Probably not, we might need to do that, that, and that. So click, 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 click. Alright, now, look at block. Ooh. No? No. No? No. <laughs> Read the instructions. Yes, that's a that's a good tip, isn't it? So you switch to the uh, connectors here between input and output. So input. Okay. Uh, so then we want output on that, that, and that. Okay, and this. Okay, good. So now if we just get far enough away so we can keep that light in the screen there. E. Okay. So that does turn that light off. Oh, there we are. But not the doors. Okay, so where are we falling down with the doors? Hmm. So, hmm. So the switch here, the future pack lever. Okay. Could just be the way these are powering the block. They might be doing sort of, what is it, indirect or strong and weak power or something? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, not sure what's going on there. That seems to be working happily enough. It just doesn't want to work uh, with the Melis's doors for some reason. So I'll look into that, see if we can come up with some other fancy system. <laughs> we could make it simple, couldn't we, guys? But where's the fun in that? <laughs> but that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. We did lots of little things today, which was good. Uh, lots of little stuff on our base and around the place. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!